Okay, so when we should add steroids in septic shock? So understand that before 2021 sepsis guidelines, the protocol was that in septic shock, we used to give fluid resuscitation and then we start adding vasopressors. We add anoradlin, adlin, vasopressin, dobutamine. And once all of these reaches their maximum doses, we add stress dose of steroid, which is hydrocortisone, uh, 50 milligrams, 6 hourly. But after sepsis 2021 guidelines, the protocol change. Now they say that after fluid resuscitation, when you start adding vasopressors and when the dose of vasopressors or the requirement of vasopressors started going up, starts going up, like you start noradrenaline with 5 ml per hour and then you uh, reach to 10 to 15 ml per noradrenaline uh, per hour and you need to add vasopressin. That is the time when you should use stress dose of steroid, which is hydrocortisone 50 mg 6 hourly. Means if you have vasopressors requirement is increasing, you need not wait for all the vasopressors to go to their maximum doses. You start early. So this is the protocol. If you anybody wants to uh, listen to the complete sepsis 2021 guidelines video, you can go to the YouTube on the ICU channel and search for it. Do read more about it.